We're here on day two of the Wetsuit Outlet and Zyke UK Moth Open 2023. This is the deciding day and on the first day we saw the Kiwis and Australian sailors really come to the fore, especially a young group of sailors from Manly Sailing Club who were absolutely brilliant on the water getting a few first places and a couple of black flags so they just need to put the consistency together and we could see them really wrap up this event ahead of the World Championships. We've got about 15 knots out on the water coming from the east. It should supply fantastic racing. Day. Um, it's never fun to sail on a, a, mo a foiling moth when you're not foiling. So uh, we kind of went in, in okay breeze and kind of faded throughout the day. So a few low riding moments and yeah, uh, I think we got two races, but the other fleet only got one race. So our second one won't count. And um, yeah, kind of longish day, I guess, for not much racing. Yeah, super, super high level. I, you know, I think this is my third Moth Worlds and probably the, the highest level I've seen. I think it's going to be more high scoring than probably seen in the past uh, the Moth Worlds and yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, today was quite a tricky one. I uh, had a breakage just before the start of the first one. So it meant um, I just got it fixed about a couple of minutes after the start and then sort of playing catch up for the rest of the race. And uh, in first place, Jacob Pye, New Zealand. It was a bit of a tester really. I, I haven't sailed against a huge range of uh, people before. I mean, this is my second international event and my first Moth Worlds. So um, I really got a good idea of the level of the fleet and uh, the experience uh, that I need. And, Really good to put myself in some such tough situations and you know see how I can perform under the under pressure as well. 